navigation, operate emergency equipment on bridge, and apply emergency procedures. Bridge pyrotechnics. The following pyrotechnics are normally found on the bridge. 6 hand flares. 12 parachute rockets. 4 line throwing apparatus. 2 man overboard markers bridge wings. All pyrotechnics are to be used in cases of extreme emergency. Hand flare. A hand flare is a small handheld object which when activated produces an intense red light for minimum 60 seconds. Should be held out to leeward when activated. Can be used by day or night. It is a short range distress signal. Rocket parachute flare. This distress signal is designed to fire a rocket to a height of 300 meters after which the parachute opens and a very intense red light is visible. The flare descends slowly because of the parachute and burns for 40 seconds. Due to the height, the flare is seen from a much greater distance. Line throwing apparatus. This is used to pass a 4 mm rope from ship to ship and ship to shore or to rescue a swimmer in distress. Point the unit a little above the target. If there is a wind, point it slightly upwind and fire. Man overboard life buoy marker. This is attached to a 4 kg life buoy on port and starboard bridge wings. When the life buoy is released or thrown in the water, it drags the mob marker with it into the sea. The marker will automatically produce a cloud of orange smoke, and the lights will flash to indicate the position of the person in the water. Emergency position indicating radio beacon, EPIRB. An EPIRB is used to alert search and rescue services and helps to pinpoint the location of survivors by sending a signal via COSPAS Sarsat satellites. Each ship carries two EPIRBs. Search and Rescue Transponder SAT. This device helps to pinpoint the location of survivors by sending a signal which can be received on an X-band radar. AIS SART is also available. Its signal is received by the ship's AIS device so that the bearing and distance of the survival craft is immediately available. Accidental distress alerts. Distress alerts can be transmitted in many ways. They may be transmitted from SAT-C, VHF, EPIRB, extra. A false distress alert should never be transmitted. In case a distress alert is transmitted accidentally at any time, it must immediately be reported to the OOW so that the master can send a message to all ships and shore authorities at once cancelling the distress alert.